Hey guys, Coach Jango here with another very simple recipe. Today's recipe is called my uh, chicken, paprika chicken and rice noodles with a slight twist to it. We're gonna add some greens into there just to add a bit of fiber. Now, all we need to start to um, well, get this recipe going is gonna be onions, two onions. Actually, I put three onions in there because I like three onions. You're gonna use, um, chop up two large flathead mushrooms and two chicken breasts. So you're gonna chuck that straight in a pan with some coconut oil and let that cook until all of it's cooked through for about 10, well, five, 10 minutes. Well, don't forget to season with salt and pepper once it's in the pan. What we're gonna do next to make it a little more fibrous and a bit more healthy is you're gonna get basically loads of broccoli heads and chop them up and basically break apart these bit of broccoli heads like so. And all you're gonna do is chuck them in the pan to cook with the rest of the meal. So just get this cooking first. So the chicken and your mushrooms and onions will pretty much all cook through. And then once you're done, start to sprinkle in the broccoli heads just like as I am doing now. So once you put the broccoli in, so as you can see, I'll probably re recommend using half the broccoli in the actual cooking itself. And once you've actually put everything in there, what I'm gonna ask you to do is get, well, but make sure everything's cooked first, obviously. And you're gonna get some paprika. You can get smoked paprika or normal paprika. In my case, I like normal paprika. And you're gonna sprinkle this to your own personal taste all over the meal. Literally, sprinkle it as much as you like I mean, you could do a tablespoon, you could do a teaspoon, but I like to make sure there's plenty of flavor in my food, so I literally just chuck it all over the pan to give it a nice flavor. And let that cook for another three to four minutes. Give it a stir as well, while it's cooking. So once your chicken's cooked through, and the rest of the vegetables are cooked through, you're gonna get yourself a 200 milliliter uh, of um, chicken stock. And you're gonna pour that all over your food. And you're gonna simmer it for another couple of minutes. And while that is simmering, let's get a bit more in there. While that is simmering, you're also going to get your rice noodles ready. So I bought these rice noodles, which are a, a pound a bag, okay, from Waitrose. You can get them from Lidl's, I suppose, or Tesco's. You're going to, once that's simmered for four or five minutes, you're going to chuck these in there. Well, chuck the whole bag in there. This recipe is for two people, by the way. So what we've done is we've got half, half a lump of broccoli in small segments, like chopped up. We've got two chicken breasts, we've got two large mushroom heads. Oh, mushroom, flat mushrooms, and we've got three onions in there, all cooking up, and paprika, into a nice bit of flavor. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna add the final ingredient, which is gonna be the icing on the cake, and it's gonna make it taste amazing. Now, the actual prep time and the preparation time for this, uh, I haven't timed myself, but it's roughly, looking at my laptop, 10 minutes. Now, you can't give me an excuse not to cook this meal, because it's gonna taste great, and it's quick. So the secret sauce to make this absolutely delicious is gonna be my all-time favorite um, mother, not Mother Nature, uh, where I'm from actually, uh, Istanbul or Turkey, should I say, full fat natural sugar. And they're going to measure 200 milliliters of full fat Greek yogurt into your pot. And once that is measured, you are going to pretty much pour that straight into your dish. And that is going to make it lovely and creamy, which you and your kids can enjoy together. So, like that straight in the pan. And as you can see, if you'd like to get a quick close-up of the actual meal itself, it's gonna, everything should blend in nicely together. Okay. Once you've actually put that all together and dished up, what you can do is you can add more yogurt if you want, you can add more paprika if you want, or more obviously salt and pepper. But the key thing is it's quick, it's easy, it tastes good, it's very healthy, and it's low in calories. As long as you don't eat the whole pan. All right, so this is for two, or maybe even three, because there's a lot of food here. So yeah. Dish up guys and uh, enjoy. Take care, bye bye. And there you have it, this is my paprika chicken with rice noodles, low in fats, high in protein and moderate in carbs and uh, family friendly. Enjoy guys.